I'm MJ and I'm here at the NAACP Image Awards where we just experienced black excellence all through this carpet. So stay tuned for these exclusive interviews. So many African American actors and actresses that play, that's been around forever, but they've yet to be nominated for a Golden Globes or Oscar. Do you think it's the lack of opportunities or they're just content with the roles they're getting? I think it is a lack of opportunity. I mean, I think that uh, Hollywood, especially when it comes to film, deal with the same people over and over and over again. And they're also dealing with subject matter that may have little or nothing to do with who we are. So we usually end up with maybe one, maybe two black films per season. Do you feel like as you get bigger, is it hard to be your authentic self? No. Um, I feel like some people lose, like, some celebrities, I'm not going to say their name, but as they get bigger, I feel like they're not the same person that I, like, fell in love with. No, no, no. I will always be Latoya. I don't care where God, you know, takes me. Um, and I have such great family and an awesome husband that keeps me grounded. My mama, who will never let me get out of line. Um, and I think that that's what's important as an artist. You know, I hate the word celebrity because it's like, what is that? But I'm, I'm blessed to have a platform where I'm able to share my gifts. And I always, I'm humbled by that. I'm humbled that God chose me to be able to use my voice. Um, not just for singing, not just for acting, I get to tell stories. All these different things. So that's what keeps me humble. And, and the minute you start acting up, God will snatch that away from you. So I'm, 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 I'm afraid of the Lord, and I'm very grateful for where he's brought me. How is it important for you to use your platform to make a difference? Because you always speak out against body shaming and all things like that. And then you do spreads, you know, showing your curves. And I love it like you are showing tonight. Thank you. Thank um, you. So how is it important using your platform for I think, this? I think one has to find their platform first. Don't try to make your platform somebody else's. You know, I think that's very important. So for me, it was sizeism. That's something that matters to me, what people see on the screen, how women that are curvy are represented, and how our stories should be broader and, and more layered than they are. Um, and so I thought it would be cool to start in every angle, not just TV and movies, but in the work I do, like Universal Standard, creating my own clothing line with them, to Lane Bryant, being a part of their I'm No Angel campaign, all of that matters. So, Well, how did you build that confidence to even start to get there? Because it's so hard, especially when you see on TV is like, oh, a size two, size four. How did you get, build that confidence? I think you just have to start, really, to be honest. You have to start with yourself and, and not worry about what other people think. We Shane Magazine. Hey, Shane. Pink Magazine <laughs> last year. Yeah. Oh, sir, are you saying that you already have something? She ain't angry. She good? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing tonight? I am doing awesome. How are you? My question for you is, do you feel like awards are important for actresses and actors? It's true. Absolutely. You got to know if you're doing something right, Jesus. <laughs> you know, I think I think encouragement is necessary. You know, there are times when the money's not there. There are times when the job's not there. So when the opportunity is really right to celebrate what you're doing, yes, let's go. So a lot of actors actors, African-American actors and actresses, we've seen them in movies like for years and they always play the same role and they never get awards. Do you feel like it's a lack of opportunities or they're just comfortable in the roles they keep getting? You know, here's the thing. It's a double-edged sword. One can look at it as their pigeonholed, which is, you know, kind of staying in the same role. They can't get out of it. But another one could look at it as an Olivia Benson on, you know, uh, Law & Order SVU where she is continuously working. She ain't never got to look for a job, period, point blank. You found your she found your lane and you good at that.